This is the Cholo News Report for Tuesday 18, June, 2019. Three Boko Haram suicide bombers detonate their devices among a group of football fans, killing 30 people and wounding 40 others, in Kondaga, Nigeria. Ali Hassan, leader of a self-defense group in Kondaga, told AFP news agency that the owner of the hall had prevented one bomber from entering. The number of deaths was so high because emergency services arrived late to the site of the blast and were not adequately equipped to deal with such a large number of wounded people, Usman Kachala, head of operations at the State Emergency Management Agency, told AFP. On Friday night an armed gang killed at least 34 people in the northwestern state of Zamfara, which has been at the center of a wave of attacks by bandits since the beginning of the year. Acting United States Secretary of Defense Patrick M. Shanahan authorizes the deployment of approximately 1,000 additional U.S. troops to the Middle East region for defensive purposes to address air, naval and ground burst threats amid increased tensions with Iran. The move comes four days after two oil tankers were attacked in the Gulf of Oman incident. The move comes just days after the attacks on the oil tankers in one of the world's most important shipping routes which the U.S. says were carried out by Iran's elite Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Last week, the Pentagon released footage purporting to show an Iranian vessel affixing an unexploded mine to one of the ships. A magnitude 5.8 earthquake hits Sichuan, China, killing 12 people and injuring 134 others. The quakes, roughly 30 minutes apart, hit the southwestern province of Sichuan late on Monday, with shaking felt in key regional cities, such as the provincial capital of Chengdu, and the metropolis of Chongqing. More than 4,000 people were relocated as dozens of structures were damaged, or collapsed outside Yibin in Sichuan province, according to the city government. State broadcaster showed footage of rescuers bringing a survivor out of the rubble of a building on a stretcher overnight. Iran announces that within 10 days, it will stop abiding by the agreement and will exceed the limit on its stockpile of uranium. Atomic Energy Organization of Iran spokesman Beraz Komolvandi, pictured at a July 2018 news conference in Tehran, said Monday, we have quadrupled the rate of enrichment and even increased it more recently.